Hi everybody, it's me, Honeybee, and you are tuned into Intimate Conversations with your host, Honeybee. Guys, it's 2011. Happy New Year! That's how they say it every time it's the ball drops. It's New Year. Well, I bet you're wondering why I'm sitting here with my bucket low on this hat. What they call it back in the day. But it's for the effect. I wanted to give you guys the <gasps> effect. For those of you who haven't seen me in quite a long time, this is the new honeybee. This is what you will see me as in 2012. Are you guys ready? Okay. Let's turn Rihanna up for this. What do you think? Go here. It's all gone. It's done. It's, it's gone. The hair, it's all gone. Okay, I'm so sorry. Some of you guys are really, really stunned and were not ready for this. Why did I cut my hair? Well, for so many reasons. Firstly, I'm in a different mental state. This is this is what this bald head represents. Just being in a different frame of mind. It is not just because it's 2012. This is something that has been evolutionary, a, a transformational phase for me. I've been getting to this moment. You know, um, I wanted to grow my hair naturally. A lot of people have heard that for a while from me. Um, every time I see someone with their naturally beautiful hair, I just think, wow, that's so gorgeous. I just wish I had the guts to cut off my hair. So then I decided to cut my hair off uh, about a month ago. I cut out the perm and it was like a low fro. And then a friend of mine came to me and was like, Bintu, you could totally rock a bald head. And of course I was thinking, I'm not no Amber Rose. Like, of course we're both from Philly and you know, that's a commonality, but I don't want to be jocking nobody's style. You know, Amber Rose is the baldy. But they're like, no, you can go low. If you've already done this, go lower. I mean, the chemicals are probably still in there from years of processing. Just start from scratch, really, if you're gonna start from scratch. And I, on Friday, this past Friday, the day before New Year's Eve, on my lunch break, I went across the street to the barbershop and I said, cut me, do me. Just like that, I said, do me, cut my hair off. And he cut my hair off, and this is what you have. A bald tape. Um, it takes guts, um, but you realize something, that you are not your hair. That's what I realized. So, if I can't walk around without any hair, without feeling beautiful, then I just feel like I never was beautiful to begin with. Right? Right. So, um, I'm enjoying my new baldy. It's, it's a sense of freedom. I just get up and go. I don't have to prep. I don't have to do anything too crazy. I can just do me. So, I'm very, very, very happy to have my bald head. And for those of you who are contemplating doing the big cut cut, do it. You can do it. It's all about you. 2011, all about you. You know how you always hear um, a new year, a new you? It's so played out. But seriously, it really isn't because a lot of people still don't know how to focus on them. Hold on, guys. Give me one second. The TV was on, and I didn't know if you guys could hear. But anyway, so it's so played out, it seems, but there's so many people who are constantly living for other people, who never do what they're happy to do, who never do what they love, what they're passionate about. They're constantly trying to make others happy. How about you take all of that emphasis and all of that energy that you're placing on everyone else or on other ideas and put it on your own tasks, put it on your own accomplishments, your own things that you want to do. I mean, really, 2012 is just another year. Any year for that matter. You don't need a new year to begin to give you that extra push. But fortunately for you, a new year has begun. So think of it like this. How do you want to start off your year? Doing the same old, same old with the same old, same old getting the same old, same old results? Or, ding, 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 ding. Do you want to have a fresh outlook, a fresh perspective, and, you know, take care of you first? Because if, you're, if you don't take care of you first, how will you help anyone else? You can't. Absolutely not. So, really, it's all about you. Like Maya said, it's all about me, 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 me. Oh, you go. All right, that's just... I'm, going too far left with it but anyway 2012 is also about making new friendships and unfortunately maybe replacing a few old ones some that may be a bit toxic for you or you know just some that are outdated for instance you know um i've i have a lot of different friends in my life um some have stayed some have went um and you know a lot of my friends 
are making these transitional phases. They're about to get married. Um, they're just doing other things in their lives. And it comes to a point at times that we have nothing in common. We have nothing to talk about. Like, almost like we just don't even know each other. And when you find that you barely know who your friends are and they barely know you, and it's really hard to kind of, like, adapt and kind of, like, come to this compromise, then maybe it's just letting you know that maybe you either need some space or you need to just let go of that outdated friendship. Let go of, you know, that old school way of being friends because maybe it doesn't work for you guys, you know? But don't think that I'm saying cut off everyone in your life. No, because there are people who have been friends with people for 40 years, 50 years, you know? Like, friendships can last as long as you two want it to last, but friendships are like relationships between, like, male and female or male and male or female and female, you know, like any other relationship. It's, it's real, and two people have to really want to work on that. And if you find that you're giving so much and you're not getting nothing in return, then maybe it's time for you to let that relationship die. But don't, don't, don't. Be afraid to walk into the room and say, hey, you know, this is me. Who are you? You look interesting. And making just that connection, you know. And, of course, I just want to let you guys know something. Everyone you meet of the opposite sex or even of the same sex, if that's your preference, is not meant for you to date. They're not. Some people are just made for you to be friends with. So, yes, males and females can be friends. And, yes, female and female can be really good friends. And males and males can be really great friends, too. Also, I am really, really, really big on giving every day of my life, every way in my life. Um, around the holiday season, something that really bothered me was that a lot of young kids were getting rewarded by their parents for absolutely nothing. They were getting rewarded and getting all these gifts and they didn't even know what the spirit of Christmas was about or, or the spirit of giving or um, Kwanzaa. None of, they didn't know any of the core principles of why we are even celebrating these religions. These, these religious holidays and these ethnic holidays to begin with. There was like no respect. And I was thinking to myself, wow, if I had kids, I'm gonna teach them first on to give. Every holiday season, even beyond that, before and beyond, they're gonna be volunteering, they're gonna be donating things because what we have is not ours. It's, it, God owns the things that we have. Do you honestly think like, this, this is not mine. This is something that I found in a store that God let me find, this vintage, beautiful butterfly necklace by the way but anyway the clothes on my body it's not mine it's not mine I guarantee you it does not belong to me you know any day I could be homeless on the street any day I could have nothing to eat any day I could stop breathing these lungs could fail you know any day so who am I not to give to someone else in need even if they don't ask don't always wait to be asked give it's the only thing that I know how to do the only thing other than talk to you guys. Um, and something else that I would like to, uh oh guys, that's my, that's my phone, uh oh. That was the phone. So ghetto, right? Bling bling, my Blackberry was going off. But um, another thing I wanna talk to you guys about is about being consistent. Um, I worked on a lot of projects in 2011 and some were great and major, um, and some were not so great and went by the wayside. And I don't want to disappoint like that this year. This year, I want to follow up on people that I've worked with, follow up on projects that I'm bringing to you, uh, give you new and fresh ideas, but also keep you current with the old stuff, like the honeybee letters, of course, which you guys can write me and tell me all about your love relationships, your life experiences. Just ask me questions and I definitely will answer because I love talking to people and I love that you guys are so open and so willing to share with me. Um, and also like, be confident, you know, be bold. This is another thing that this no hair represents. Confidence. Now I don't have all this hoopla going on and people can focus more on me, on, on what I have going on, on my face. Look, you can see the my structure. Am I beautiful? You know? Of course. Um, be very confident in whatever it is that you want to do. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't do it. Because you can. It's up to you. It's up to you to focus. It's up to you to bring it. You know, bring the goods. Bring the, like, guys, seriously. You know, I'm going to do some photo shoots. You know, I'm going to make some 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 new jewelry pieces for my line, Sarah Designs by Bintu. I'm going to do a lot of stuff, but I got to bring it. If I want you guys to buy my jewelry, if I want you guys to continue to follow my blog, I have to.
to be bold enough to bring you the topics, um, bring you the looks that you all love, you know? So just be very confident whatever that you do. It doesn't matter who's doing what or, or what they said over there um, or what you did last year. No, 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 no. What's happening, what's the word, is what's going down now. That's what the buzz is. What's happening right now? What are you doing to take the action, to be bold, to be confident, say, hey, I deserve to be here. It doesn't matter, you know? It doesn't matter if you never DJ before and you want to DJ. Do it. Go get the records. Get the record player. Look at a few tutorials. Do it. It doesn't matter if you've never ran your own business. Read a couple of books. Find out what the market is like. Get it popping. It doesn't matter. Do you. And on a very high note, please understand something. The world is designed for us to have good things happen to us and, and, for, and, and for us to really excel. That's, that's what this universe is designed for. Anything else in between, the bad things that happen are life lessons to make us stronger, to still go against the current, to get those things that are already there put in place for us. I believe in destiny. I believe that we are not trying to get somewhere, but we are already there. We just have to work. It takes hard work. It takes faith. It takes love. It takes perseverance. It takes blocking out negativity. Stop projecting negative thoughts. You are amazing. Each and every one of you are so amazing. And I guarantee there's so much waiting for you out here in the world. Love yourself first. Honor God. And everything should be fine. It's okay. We all mess up. It's okay. I, I do crazy things all the time and I break down and I cry and I think, wow, you know, I just wish I was a better person, you know, but I, I'm only me. So stop beating yourself up in 2012. Go for what you want. Go for the gusto, you know, and break out of your comfort zone. Okay. You've never acted before. You want to act? Enroll in an acting class. Learn what it takes. Even if it's just to build your confidence. Be bold, be strong, be real, be you, be love. God bless you guys. Happy New Year.